here at Sagan. I bet these two pieces of plate here together. And we've uh, got a new camera here. I'm wanting to see how it does. Got my little Lincoln welder. And I'm just using Fleet Club 37. 6013 8 electrodes. Let's button these two pieces of metal here together and then I'm going to band test them. I'm going to lay one end up on the block, the other end down on the ground. You got space underneath the bottom of it here and beat the hell out of it with a sledgehammer. And it bends, instead of breaks, you pass. I passed before, but I'm trying a new technique. So I'm going to find a place to set up the camera that I won't ruin it. Weldon creates a lot, a lot of heat. I'm going to get it to stay there. Alrighty. Stay there. We'll just here together. I did my three well pass. Now you flip it over to the other side. Which I've already done one pass on. Set this down here for just a second. Put my ground lead back on. A little bit of my other two passes on this side here now. Try to anyway if this damn camera will stay on. You know, see what happens here. And diamond plate hard to weld on. Now you take, always keep, try to keep your stinger away from your ground. Take your slag hammer, chip this black shit off here. The weld looks shitty because of the damn diamond plate. This is diamond plate quarter inch steel. But I use a lot to build mounts and hangers and just here recently started welding. Well, that's about it though. Just make one more pass on it and it ought to be good. Alrighty. Got her all finished up here. Still hot. Temperatures when you're welding can be upwards of 6,000 degrees. Because basically all you're doing is taking a negative. 
and a positive, which is two different. One's live and one's dead, and you're tying them together and making an arc or a spark. And in doing that, you create heat, which melts the two pieces of metal and bonds them together. And the only thing your electrode or rod does is just create a filler that just helps the process. I would prefer to weld things than bolt them. Now that I've started welding, I really enjoy it. I uh, believe it or not, I'd almost rather weld than a woodcut timber. Because, you know, I can sit on my ass all day. But, you know, as time goes on, it'll probably grow old to me. Like running dozer. But, all I've got is a simple little 225. AC arc welder made by Lincoln. It's 25 years old. My two grandmothers bought it for my dad about 25 years ago. And we've done nothing to it. Tell it stuck up the original ground and the original stinger. Original wires. Everything. Everything's original. Ain't done nothing to it. Now that I say that though, the damn thing will blow up. But, here's my wells, huh? Just here recently started going to a trade school. As an adult. And, learned how to do that. So, I'll weld test them tomorrow and have Dad, do, have Dad beat on them while I record them. Because, you know, I don't want nobody saying, oh, he ain't hitting them hard enough. Because he'll beat the shit out of them. But, Anyway, I'll have more later.